this exercise, we'll go over the A chord, the A arpeggio, the A arpeggio that looks like this. You want to play this in a way that you can execute the cleanest, and, and for me, that takes out as much cross string activity as possible. Of course, you could play this A arpeggio like this. But then you factor in crossing an extra string and also mixing in the open string sound against the closed string sound. So I choose to do it like this. It makes it a lot easier when you want to transpose this into B flat or B or any other key to have the closed position shape. Here we go. Your first, your A. D, then your E, which is the same frets and everything as the A, just one string starts one string lower on the E note, and then your open A. So let's do it with the click. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. So then we can do it an octave higher if we go like this. So there's your A. Now here's your D, which is now the same. So E and just as a note you can also play the A arpeggio that way and the D arpeggio And then when you get to this A, A, C sharp, E, A, E, C sharp. So let's do that with a click here. 77 beats per minute. One, two, one, two, three, two, two, two.
those together. Maybe do something like this. One, two, three, two, two, three. Find some other ways to play the A or the E, like for the A. For the E. The bones of this exercise is just those arpeggios, but then you expand it out to where you're practicing finding your way home in the different parts of the fretboard that you end up at, for instance. to help you with your thinking on your toes. One, two, three, two, two, three. Trying to find my way out of those corners I get boxed into. 